Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. Nisa Salon just arrived in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm guessing it's your second time in Saudi, how are you finding it? It's my third time actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine, it's all good. I forgot you had the uh, tournament here as well. So let's get to it. Yoga Hergovic, uh, you're out here to support him. I see Zili Zhang just stood there behind him. What kind of statement are you expecting Hergovic to, to make this Saturday? Well, you know, first off, maximum respect goes out to Zhang for taking a fight. A lot of people ducked it. Um, so, you know, respect goes out to Zhang. And uh, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be an interesting fight while it lasts. But um, I think... I think Philip will do it in a big, big style uh, within six. Well, the general consensus online is it could be over in two um, people, obviously, mainly because of Zhang's, you know, a couple of fights ago, he showed a lot of inexperience and he seemed like he got tired. So do you think Hergovic is just going to go out there to, to make that statement and put his name out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, like Philip said, I think Philip not the nail in the head. Zhang has a couple of good rounds in him. Philip has all the good rounds in him. Um, I'd like to see it go longer, but I think both of them, their styles, it's going to be a bit of a war. And um, I think Philip will come out on top, I'm hoping. And then how far do you think he is from a, a realistic IBF world title shot? Because obviously nobody knows what's going to happen after this fight. There could be unification fights down the line. So what is plan B for Hergovic? Well, I think you've answered the question there. No one knows what's going to happen in the belts, right? So it all sort of uh, depends on what happens with AJ Usyk. Um, we're ready. We'll fight the next fight. Um, but if not, you know, there's lots of exciting names in the heavyweight division at the moment. So, uh, you know, we'll go for one of them. Drop me some names. Obviously, more than likely, you, got, you might have to go down Plan B route. Would you take him to the States or maybe look at some of these British heavyweights like Dubois and you know, see if anyone's willing to fight for that ranking? Yeah, I think you need to be realistic. I don't think, uh, so, you know, Dubois would take the fight. Um, I'd like to see a Dillian White would be a good fight. Uh, Wilder. Um, all those guys, but it's risk reward for them, isn't it? You know, they want a belt on the line, probably to, to fight Philip. Definitely. And just moving on, uh, another subject. Obviously, you, yourselves and Eddie here have just secured probably one of the biggest all British fights in, in recent times. Um, th there's been big debate about the whole pay per view around that fight. Uh, start off with, do you know what kind of price point we'll be looking at on the zone? Still being discussed at the moment. Not sure. And um, numbers, um, you know, th there's been a bit of back and forth between Eddie Hearn and some people from the Frank Warren's team saying that you know, Joyce Parker may do the same numbers, if not more. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm speechless. I, I, yeah, there's no, no words. Eddie reckons it could do a million buys on the zone. Do you think that's realistic, obviously, with, you know, with it being a, a new kind of market for them to enter in the UK? I mean, I, you know, it's, it's probably, I'd like to talk about what a footballer earns in a game or so. I don't know, it's, it, it, it's a, look, uh, it's, a, it's a hard one to say. Um, I think from, you know, if I compared it to a recent fight that we were involved in Eubank against Groves, the interest I think is a lot more in this fight just because of the history. Um, and also because it's a good fight. So I don't know what the numbers are going to do. I think Eddie always goes a little bit over the top. Um, I'd, 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 I'd be very happy with those numbers. Um, just have to wait and see, don't we? It'll make everybody very, very rich. Um, obviously, if Chris wins, I'm guessing you guys have got plans for him down the line as well. I know there was talks of a Liam Smith fight. Uh, would you go down that route or would you explore other world title opportunities? Look, there's so many moving parts always in boxing. Liam Smith's a good fight. Um, needs a bit more hype around it, I think, um, which you know I think can be done. He's obviously got a fight on September 3rd. We've got a fight on October 8th, and then yeah, why not? The door's open to that. Lisa, last question. Um, you guys have got a lot of fighters. Just give me one name that fans may not know about that we can probably keep an eye out for in maybe in the next 12 months. Uh, I'll go non-UK because you'll know the UK ones. Abbas Barrow trained by Adam Booth. Very good fight. He was unlucky with their points loss, uh, but very slick, and I've heard he does very well in sparring against top, top names. Yeah, he's, he's given everyone in the UK a hard time. Good stuff. We'll keep, out, keep an eye out for Abbas Barrow. Unless you get anything else to add, I'll, I'll let you crack on. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.